Liu Zingang is the strongest hunter in China and he's the national ranked level hunter in second place. And the reason why we're talking about him is because he is one of a ruler level vessel. A ruler vessel is somebody that, you know, that the rulers thought was a strong human and they basically passed his levels or their powers down to him, just like Sun Tzu got the powers of the Shadow Monarch. So for how cool and intimidating this guy was, we never he never really had that much screen time in the, the manhwa. So the only things that we know about him for sure is that during the Jeju Island raid, you know, the the, when Sung Jin Woo was fighting the Ang King, you know, all of them after he finally beat Biru, after all the, all the ants, you know, found out that their king was basically dead, they all started to run away. And what's the closest thing next to Korea? China. So uh, basically, Lee Sing Gong basically mounted a defense against all the ants that were coming out of the island raid. And it basically went well because he's a, he's a strong ass hunter and he literally destroyed hundreds of, of these S ranked ants in a flick of an eye. After that, we saw him in the international conference with you know the, all the hunters in the world discussing who the hell killed Christopher Reed, the third strongest hunter in the world. And everybody was thinking uh, Sung Jae Woo's father, Sung Il Hwan. As we all know, Sung Jae Woo was really, you know, shocked by this, and he was really upset. And Lu Sagong, you know, tried to size him up during this. He was talking crap about his dad, and then he realized that, you know, Sung Jae Woo, Sung Jae Woo is no pushover, and, <laughs> and he figured out like, yeah, there's no way this guy I could match up to this guy in a fight. And then that's really all we know about him. The, you know, he, we didn't ever saw his spiritual ruler manifestation. Uh, like Thomas Andre did, we never got to see any of his powers. All we know is that he was just this cool, badass guy that had dual swords, and he was like the the protector of China. That's all we really know about him. Um, let me know in the comments if you guys have any more information, or if you guys want to see more more of these ruler vessels. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Go.